Hi friends. So Elizabeth Zimmerman has left for us a literal treasure map, recipes for sweaters, shawls, socks, so many accessories. And I'm gonna spend the next year knitting through the ones that I find the most intriguing and interesting. So the sweater I'm gonna start with is called the Wishbone Sweater or the Hurry Up and Knit Sweater, featured in Knitter's Almanac, the December entry. Here is the Wishbone Sweater. Here's what it looks like. It's really cool, kind of, um, it looks at first glance like a raglan, but it has, uh, you can see it comes straight up to the collar. The, the sleeves kind of eat up the upper body. And this, I imagine, is a, quite a flattering fit for the upper body up here. It, show, it kind of will feature the shoulders. Um, it's comfortable, it's unique, and it's knit with a bulky yarn, so it, it's a hurry up and knit sweater. <laughs> Kate Davies design Carbeth looks suspiciously <laughs> very similar to this design. And as far as I know, I could be wrong. I don't know if uh, Kate Davies ever acknowledged Elizabeth's design. Um, and Elizabeth came up with Knitter's Almanac, was first published in 1981. And I don't know if this particular sweater came out in an earlier uh, one of her newsletters around that time, earlier than that. But that's the earliest publication date that I have of this. Um, and I believe that the car bath came around, I don't know, 2008, 2009, maybe even later than that. Um, and just to give you some feedback on what happens in this uh, entry, December entry, we are regaled with the tale of how Elizabeth and her husband, Arnold, otherwise known as the gaffer or the old man, are kind of snowed in in the period of time between Christmas and New Year. We receive a knitting tip, shortening a sweater that's grown too long without cutting too much into the fabric. We have humorous tips for marking one's progress when knitting plainly in the dark. We get a peek inside their family's rituals at Christmas time and just funny stories that funny little tales that come up about Elizabeth shoveling the snow off the roof at an advanced age. Um, and we receive some, some really beautiful thoughts from an expat from England uh, living the last part of her life out in America and how she kind of reconciles that and comes to, um, comes to peace with it. And how this is also through all these stories, this is a recipe for us. On designing a perfect life for oneself. So Elizabeth, we thank you for your amazing legacy of these beautiful books that we can pick up at any stage of our knitting and do something that we're completely unqualified to do. And that is the message that you have left us, that with confidence we can achieve whatever it is that we want. And from the success of these sweaters, from the success of all these knits that she encourages us to, to do, we realize that life is no more than a series of practical endeavors. If we approach them with the same calm and steady mind that Elizabeth has, we just might find a way to forge a creative and happy life. So thank you, Elizabeth, for your inspiration and guidance. Here are the knits the wishbone sweater, the curl tip mittens, the Icelandic yoke cardigan, the raglan sweater from Opinionated Knitter. So cute. Here's the back of the hybrid sweater on the bottom. And here's the front of the hybrid sweater, which I will be doing. Here comes the V-neck Aran cardigan. Oh my God, can't wait. The hand-to-hand -hand Aran from Knitter's Workshop. So Elizabeth, I look forward to doing a deep dive on your knits this year and also getting to know you a little bit better as it's always a privilege.